Hey guys, this week we're going to be installing some simple shelves that my wife picked out. Stick around. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of BS with AJ. As I said before, this week we're going to be installing some shelves that my wife found. She really liked them and she wanted me to get my crap off the table, so, you know, it kind of worked out. Anyway, uh, so we're going to be installing these shelves that she bought. I didn't, I didn't build any shelves. I haven't had a chance to build anything in a little while, actually, so I'm not going to argue about it. So anyway, we're going to be installing these. It's a really simple process, and this will translate over to any kind of shelf or anything, anything like that you're trying to hang on the wall. It's just mainly just learning how to measure and measure over to your points where your screws need to be and things like that. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started with that here in just a second. But if you like videos like this, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and consider supporting BS with AJ on Patreon so we can do bigger, better projects for you guys. Let's get started. All right, guys, so for this project, here's some of the tools that you're going to need. They're not all mandatory, but they do help, of course. Here are our shelves. My wife picked out these shelves. She seemed to like them pretty good, and she's already picked the placement on the wall and everything. Uh, so it came with its own uh, drywall anchors and screws. Unfortunately, in the instructions, it doesn't say what size drill bit, so you kind of have to figure that out on your own. Whatever size, uh, whatever shelves you buy, they may or may not come with your own drywall anchors. But if you're worried about getting the wrong size or something like that, go a little bit small. You should be able to push them through without any trouble. Uh, anyway, moving on, we have a drill because we are going to have to drill holes for the drywall anchors. We have a level because you obviously want them to look level. If they're all crooked, that's going to look like crap. So. That one's pretty important. Uh, also, right here I have a combination square. You don't necessarily have to have this. The main reason I'm using it is for a straight edge because my level isn't long enough. It's only an eight inch level and these screws are gonna be 10 inches apart. So I'm using this as a straight edge and then I can put my level on top of that to make sure they're actually marked right. We have our drill bits, of course. You will definitely need those to make the holes, of course. Uh, we're also going to need a tape measure, something to write with. I'm using a pencil because we are doing this on a wall that's going to be exposed. You know, you're obviously going to see any marks that you make if they're outside of where your shelves are going to be. So you want to be able to erase those. So I suggest using a pencil. You can use a pen or a marker or whatever, but one, it's not going to be as accurate, especially if you use a marker. And two, it's a lot harder to get off the wall. So use a pencil. Just save yourself some time. And right here I've got a handheld screwdriver, manual powered, you know, whatever you got. If, you, if that's all you got, that's what you can use to put these screws in. I'm going to be using an impact with a Phillips chuck on there just to save a little bit of time and to make it go a little quicker also because it's easier. I mean, that's just my opinion. But hey, whatever. If you buy an, a drill and impact set, you'll already have it. If you just have the drill just for things like this, then you can always put your chuck inside the drill actually. So I suggest doing that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, well here's the shelves that my wife picked out. So there's two separate shelves here. One's got a bigger drawer, the other one's got two little ones, whatever, it don't matter. They're both set up the exact same on the back here. And this is the important part. This is where our screws are going to go. Uh, once you put them in the wall with your drywall anchors, you're going to leave your screw sticking out just a little bit so you can stick it in this the round part. And then it's going to slide down to the top little skinny part there. That way it won't come out. If you've ever hung stuff before, you know how that works. So what we're going to try and do, we've got to figure out where we want our screws to be on the wall. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, if it comes with instructions, look at the instructions. Uh, on the instructions on mine, the only measurement that it actually give, the only me measurement that it actually would give to you were, was the uh, spacing between the two. So they're exactly 10 inches apart, center to center. I double checked that to make sure. Of course it is. Uh, so the other thing that you're going to want to do, whenever I measure things, I had my wife set this up on the wall and all I did was put a mark on the very bottom and then whichever edge, one of the, one of the two, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so after that point, you know that they're 10 inches apart, but you don't know how far it is from the bottom. You don't know how far it is from the side, but if you have exactly where you want to set it, like I said, you put a mark here and a mark on this side. Then you can measure up from the bottom to find your center up here, and then measure over from the side to find your center here. Now the point that you're trying to get to, let me grab something to point to it so my fingers ain't in the way, is going to be right about here. So you want to find the center of this skinny part here, 
And then you want to come down probably about an eighth inch, maybe three sixteenths, something like that, depending on the size of your screw. But just kind of guesstimate there. That's not super, super important, but as long as they're in the same spot, it's going to be level. So on mine, I've got it wherever I set the measurements. <laughs> I've got it. It's one and one sixteenth from this edge to the center. All right. And then from the bottom, it's one and five eighths to this point. So if you go ahead and mark one, one side here and one side here, whenever you measure from the, from the floor up to the bottom, you will add one and five eighths with these specifically at least. And yours may vary, of course. And then that'll give you the height where your screw's gonna set. And then from the side, if you're measuring off whatever, off a wall or something like that, or off a door frame, whatever it is, as long as you're measuring from the same point, you'll be accurate. But we're gonna measure from that, that point over to the mark you made, and then I need to add one and one sixteenth to this. And once you find one, all you have to do is move, go from this point ten inches over, and it should be the same height as this one here. All right, guys. So I've got my points put on the wall already, just to save a little bit of time. But I'm going to explain to you how I did this real quick. All right. So right here is the bottom of our top shelf, and here's the outside edge. So I'm going to be measuring from the door frame here over and I'm going to be measuring from the floor up to this point. And the same thing, here's the bottom of our bottom shelf, here's the side of our bottom shelf right here. So off of those measurements, I'm going to measure from the floor up to this point and then I'm going to add an inch and five eighths to get our height right. Just the same, we're going to be measuring from the outside or from the, uh, the wall right here to our outside edge and then we're going to be adding an inch and a sixteenth on these specifically. Again, now your, your uh, shelves may be set up different, the holes may be separated, different spacings and things like that. This is just in general. But this is how mine laid out. And then from this point, I'm gonna be measuring from the same door frame here, over to here, over exactly 10 inches. And then we'll measure from the ground up to that point and put our mark. Now you'll notice that I've got two marks here. And the reason, I've got it on both of them, and they're about 3 16 inches apart, the reason being is I measured off the floor to get my bottom here, and then I measured over to the side to get my side. That's where my screws are gonna set. Now, once you get done doing that, you wanna make sure that you're set up level. Because if you if you just measure off the floor, like in my case, I have an old house. So it doesn't exactly come out level. So uh, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your level. Like I said, mine's only eight inches long, so I need a straight edge. So what I did was I just lined up my two marks that I made and I set my level on top of it. All right. So I did that and then I found out, well, obviously my floor is not level. And because it was consistent from this side over here and this side over here. So it's about three sixteenths difference because this is an old house. The floors are warped and things like that. So like I said, just take your straight edge, keep one mark right where you want it and move down or up whichever way you need to go until you get it level and then mark right on the edge there. So that's where I got this mark from. This is our actual mark that we're gonna be putting our hole, and our first one's gonna stay the same. Same thing on the bottom. So let's go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and drill these holes, put our anchors in, add our screws, and go ahead and hang these shelves. It's a pretty simple process. The main thing is, if you want them to be in exact space, you wanna make sure and measure very accurately, and then make sure you use a level to make sure they come out level, of course. So anyway, let's go ahead and start doing this now. guys now that we have our shelves hung we're pretty much ready to go just start putting stuff in there whenever you put your shelves on when you want to make sure and leave those screws sticking out about a quarter inch maybe a little bit more that way they're kind of snug once you set it on there you can you'll have to push down with a pretty good amount of pressure not like overdo it because you can either break your shelves or rip it out of the wall so be careful about that <laughs> 
But uh, be sure and make sure it's a little bit snug. So that way when you pull it down, if it's just a slight bit out of level, which I always check every time I put something up there, put your level on there afterwards, and you can just slightly adjust it. The top one was off just a little, little bit, but the bottom one was pretty well perfect. That can happen whenever you're drilling your holes. If you're off your mark, even just the slightest little bit, it can adjust the way how level that shelf's gonna be. So like I said, be sure to put a level on there afterwards. Otherwise, you're ready to go. Put anything you want to on top of it, inside of it, up to the weight it can hold, that is. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and consider supporting BS with AJ on Patreon so we can do bigger and better projects for you guys. I'll see you next week.